from Banda Ukuleles and today I'll be helping you get through your ukulele learning experience. In this video, I'll be showing you about the ukulele accessories that come in this bundle and also how to use them. First, let's talk about the extra strings and how to use them. You will need these whenever you have to restring your ukulele. Remember that there are many different bridge designs. But for now, we will be teaching you how to restring this kind of bridge, which is a slotted bridge. When you open your packet, you should see four strings with numbers on them. These numbers mark the strings in order, starting from 4, which is the G string, 3, which is the C string, 2 for E, and 1 for A. You will need these whenever you'll have to restrain your ukulele. Remember that there are many different bridge designs, but for now, we will be teaching you how to restrain this kind of bridge on your ukulele, which is a slotted bridge. So for this bridge, all you have to do is first tie an 8 knot on a string, which is what I'm doing right now. You can refer to the ukulele book that comes with this package for more details and pictures on the steps to tie this knot. See? It's that easy! Make sure that the knot is tight, then cut the excess. It would be a waste of string if it's not tied and it untangles. After you cut the excess off, take the knot and slide it through the bottom of the bridge. It's like flossing your teeth. Next, what you have to do is you take the other end of the string and be sure to remove the number. Then you put it through the hole of its designated tuning peg. Turning the tuning pegs counterclockwise tightens the G and C strings while turning them counterclockwise tightens the E and A strings. So here is a ukulele tuner. These tools are very important, especially for beginners, because new ukulele strings usually have to stretch out before they stay in tune. So you will be using these a lot. So first, what you have to do is take the clip and put it on the headstock of your ukulele. So to use the tuner, First, hold down the on button until it turns on. Then, you'll have to pluck a string. Let's try plucking the G string. When you pluck a string, you see that a letter appears on the screen. That letter is the tune of the string that you just plucked. Remember that the ukulele strings need to be tuned consecutively from the left, G, C, E and A. So if the screen is not green for letter G, that means that the string is out of tune. As you keep plucking the string, you'll need to turn its tuning peg either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the arrows on the tuner. So for the strings G and C, turning counterclockwise will tighten them while clockwise will loosen them. Let's try tuning the G string. Right now, we see an F sharp. So we'll have to tighten it to get a higher note, which is G. We'll keep doing it until the screen turns green. As for the C string, it's already on C, but the screen is not green, meaning it's still out of tune. And the arrows are to the right of C, meaning it's tuned higher, so we will have to loosen the string. We will turn clockwise until the screen goes green. The principle is basically the same for the E and A strings, but you have to turn clockwise to tighten them and counterclockwise to loosen them. strap. So there are many different designs, 
But for this kind of strap, all you have to do is first wear it around your neck. Then, you take the hook down and around the ukulele and attach it to the sound hole. It should look like this. So, this kind of strap won't completely hold your ukulele for you. But, it'll support the body and it'll make it easier for your strumming hand. Our next item are the felt picks. If strumming is painful for your fingers, using these picks are very helpful. Using these picks also help produce a more mellow sound. So this is the sound when I strum with my fingernails. While this is the sound when I strum with the felt pick. This is a cleaning cloth and it's made out of microfiber, which means that it's highly absorbent. It is good for cleaning delicate surfaces like your ukulele, but remember to slightly dampen it first before using it. The bad thing about using different materials for cleaning is that it can scratch the surface of your ukulele. Try to develop a habit of wiping your strings and fretboards after every session because our fingers have oil on them, which can curl the frets and loosen the glue that holds them. So this is the chord chart, and it contains all the chords that you can play in a ukulele. This includes all the major and minor chords, the flaps, and even other types under each letter. Then we have a chord stamp. This tool is very useful, especially if you're a songwriter, or if you just want to put chord diagrams on your songbooks. This accessory is used for stamping blank diagrams on pieces of paper. Then, you can manually draw in the chord that you want to use. You can refer to the chord chart whenever you're using the chord stamp. Here, let me show it to you. On any piece of paper, use the stamp to form a blank chord diagram. Then, you can manually draw in a chord that you want to use, like for writing a song. So for example, I want a G chord, and so I draw in the dots on their designated lines. This is the fingerboard position stickers. These are very helpful because you can use them as markers on your fretboards to quickly know where to put your fingers for a specific chord. Let me demonstrate. So let's say that I want to mark where the G chord is on my ukulele. First, we'll find all the G stickers here, here, and here. Then we take them off one by one. Good! Last, we put them on their designated spots on the fretboard under the strings. Last one. Great! There you go! Now, I know where to put my fingers when I want to use the G chord. And that's all for the accessories and how to use them. Enjoy your ukulele! And feel free to check out my other videos for more tutorials.